today and today we're going to have a game of Hammerfist on the Amstrad CPC. Um, um, I did this on the Commodore 64 not too long ago. Um, okay, I did say it was a frustrating game, it was. Um, but graphically it looked pretty decent and it had really good music in it. I don't think it did have sound effects but it had music. Um, I don't know, I can't remember if there was an option to change it. I don't know. And now we've got the Amstrad CPC version to play. Um, yes, I've had a test run of it. Let's just get on with it. Monochromic. What does that say to you? Mode 1. And that means only one thing. ZX Spectrum port. Right, let me get myself familiar with the controls. Right, the controls are a bit weird. It was the same on the Commodore 64. Right, if you push up, you change into another character, a female character. You choose up again, you change back into the male character. Right, both have um, different characteristics. I think with the male character, you can fire. And with the female character, you can do acrobatics and you jump and all that. Um, what you've got to do, if you want to fire in a direction, hold down your fire button and push in the direction you want to fire in by holding the fire button down simultaneously. Um, so I need to fire up, so down, hold down my fire button and push in the up direction. So now I, I've um, destroyed all those, I can leave this room. And if you push space bar, oh, for fuck's sake, we've got more bloody enemies turning up now. Um, you push space bar. Hang on a minute. Push space bar. Hang on, turn into the male character. Push space bar, it faces the front. And you're going to get whacked by these bloody things, right? Right, on the Commodore 64 version you can actually destroy the computer it doesn't seem to be working on the CPC version let's try the small computer first right it's not f right down yeah right so it looks like I, I headbutted the computer screen and smashed it right let's see if this works on here doesn't seem to be oh yeah here we go so doesn't seem to be working well, I'm headbutting it but it doesn't seem to be smashing the computer up like you can on the Commodore 64 version unless you've got to be centered let's try that are we centered no you can't do it on the Commodore on the Amstrad version even though I'm headbutting the fucking thing it's not fucking smashing up so it looks like you can't do it. Nah, forget it. Fuck it. Now it takes us to this part of the room. This is this is the only how far I could get on the Commodore 64 version because I said it, it's a frustrating hard game. Um, being a Spectrum pool, I know that's bad enough, but what makes it even worse? You might be thinking, hang on, this is a bit quiet. All you can hear is my voice and the tapping of the keys and whatever. Because there's no fucking sound in this game. So not only it's a crappy Spectrum pool, they don't even they don't even put in sound effects. You know, I could understand if they ran out of memory, but which was the case in Paperboy. Right, now we're the female character, we can do acrobatics. But we can't, uh, this is where, I, as I said, I couldn't get off on the Commodore 64 version. Right, I can't get up on that ledge. So let's change back to the male character and it is a frustrating game. So you push up to change character. 
So this the female character can do acrobatics. But but I can't get up on that ledge. So they couldn't even be bothered to add sound effects. That's just appalling. To get a shitty port from the Spectrum, and I do believe the Spectrum version had sound effects. And uh, no, they just couldn't be bothered. Oh no, this game's shit. Let's, let's just not bother with sound effects. They couldn't even be bothered to even make a soundtrack for it. I may put some music in it. No, they couldn't be bothered. This is fucking shit. Yes, as I keep saying, it's a frustrating game on the Commodore 64. Um, just don't bother with the Amstrad version. If you're going to play a version, maybe even play the Spectrum version. I've not played the set of Spectrum version, but I've seen the Spectrum version. It's exactly the same as this with um, sound effects, even be it, even though it, I think it's a 48k that game. Considering this game came out, I think 1990. you would think they have been able to add some sound effects. Pathetic. Um, it's a system free game, I believe. So system free, these were the people that gave us the last ninja. And the last, ninja, the last Ninja 2 I had on the CPC. Yes, once again, that was a Spectrum port. And did that have sound effects? I don't know. I can't remember. I did have um, the um, Last Ninja 2 on the CPC. And it was a monochromic Spectrum port. I remember that. I think it did have sound effects, minute sound effects. This is just annoying, this game. This is annoying. And it looks like System 3. Oh, hang on, can we go through there? Ah, hang on a minute. No, we can't. We can't go through there. Oh, let's try that again. This is fucking shit. This. It's one. What else was System Three? Wasn't IK Plus System Three? Was that that was Mailball Mouse? Was it? Or was that System Three? I can't remember. Whatever. IK Plus was pretty good on the Amstrad version. Um, it wasn't as good as the Commodore sixty four version, mind you, but it was still a playable game. But this is just absolutely shit. I can't be bothered with it no more. Um. If you're going to play a version of it on the 8-bit systems, play the Commodore 64 version. Um, either that or play the Spectrum version, maybe. This is just utter shit on the Amstrad CPC. Um, yeah, don't bother with it. It's crap. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.